I'm from Philly, obviously. The realm of thinkers, fighters, rappers, genteel gangsters, and hopeless gangbangers. Educated at Temple U. The tabernacle of lawyers, teachers, and b-ball hopefuls. Cosby's alma mater. Cliche cheesesteaks. And the finest women not found on the coast. Shit. I was born to correspond. Mount Airy folk, McMansion professors, moms, history, and international relations, pops, a peace scientist. I remember them reading me the newspaper to put me to sleep and always backpacking me to amphitheater concerts, LaBelle, Billy Paul, Uptown Theater R&B shows, battle of the groups, and civil rights rallies. They were personal friends to Dr. King. And if I asked a question, they would sit me down, one on one side, the other on the other, and cascade me with, what do you think, son? Then make me write and draw and orate my answers and then look at each other and either nod or shake their heads and leave me to reflect. They never told me right from wrong. Every mistake I made, I was made to rescue myself. Didn't matter how serious. The days I spent in jail for a misdemeanor not because they wouldn't get me out. It was because they would call the law and ask them for a favor to keep me as long as they could. Ain't that some shit? But that's the way they love. That's the way they love. Her name is Darmisha, a smart ghetto sister, street smart, whoop ass, a wordsmith genius with a voice that'll make you chill up and down your spine. That's why they call me the blues man. I get it from her. She is my muse. And she validates the measure of the Moog in me and slashes uptown heritage with North Philly hand-me-down ethics that includes the best ganja, straight-up veg cuisine, and herbal cleansing. She cusses like a sailor. She already took a bullet for me in her arm. Somebody tried to rob us when we copped, and then she whooped their ass. Smashing mouths at the same time, tying her arm, keep it from bleeding out. She's like a cartoon to me. I call her Tank Girl. You remember that flick? I would spend the rest of my life in bed with her if I could. I got my master's in journalism. Served in the International Corps. A war correspondent is a special breed. We search for trouble. We compete to get as close to death as possible. Pics of the dead and dying, and all in the fray of jihad and NATO. Arms dealers say, hey, check out my new munitions. But hey, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's just pals born on the marathon floor of war. But I, I, I was happy for once to cover a peace revolution, a changing of the guard in the world, 
where youth all over the East were tired of the same old despots. Egypt. I covered the rallies. It was beautiful. Until the frenzy got the best of protesters uh, who turned mob and spouted anti-American sentiments that made them forget that we corresponded with there to help spread the word and 140 of us were either killed or maimed as our reward during that tirade. But I was one not counted in that census. There were a whole lot of us the Associated Press knew nothing about. And he kicked my ass. And Darmisha was in America. No dynamite duo. I never felt so alone. And I could see my parents in my swollen head on each side of me saying, Well, son, what of this? And they didn't stop kicking and stomping and punching and spitting until somebody in the mob unhypnotized them simply by yelling, stop. And they did. And the same ones that kicked my ass yelling down with Obama extended a hand and asked me if I was all right. Dazed, I saw the crowd part, and uh, there she was, Alitaj. And she said, wrong place at the right time, always with you people. What people? I didn't get the question out before she clocked me with that one punch that sent me to that good night. I woke in the den, and Varner dragged me in the hostage pen. Tell you about cans. Cans. Can. Can opener, can of worms, canopy, do the can can, can I, cannot, can't, canned, preserve, save, survive, Armageddon. Yeah, <laughs> ain't nothing like going into a cabinet and seeing cans of shit that you know you ain't never gonna eat. And wonder why you bought. Just glad they there. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. My worldview is endless discussions to keep us from ending it totally. War is a total breakdown of communication towards achieving an end. The earth fends for itself. World fends against itself. If we last long enough, the earth will end on its own terms. If we get rid of ourselves, the earth has a chance. It's a penal colony, man. Somebody created this asylum and it had nothing to do with. Speaking of which, I do believe in the creator, just not the personality. Who would want the earth or the world ruled by somebody we could never make happy?
Don't pray for anything. Just pray. World without end. Amen. Amen. My secret is I have a thing for Shaka. She is, I would take a bullet for her. She is my Dharmisha in the den. And I don't want this to end the den. It's the ultimate human exchange. Hostages in a room with nothing to keep them sane, but tossing and turning thoughts and memories and tripping out on no way out and waiting for good old. <laughs> Sizzling shit goes on in here. Unbridled day by day breakdown of the very nature Group therapy, purgatory hell, heaven, and then silence.